hi everybody I am finally back I know I have been um, a wall for quite some time now <laughs> I haven't um, had a whole lot to share with you all um, I did want to come and share this with you guys this is a happy mail from Angie and I know how much you guys just absolutely love seeing her creations so I did want to come and share this with you all I have had this um, box in my possession for about a week now and have not been able to record and I have really just got to tell you that that has been such torture you have no idea um, <laughs> I didn't have any memory left on my phone, which is how I record. So um, I had to wait until I had another method to record. So um, that that's why I wasn't able to do that. So it has been so hard not to tear into this box. You, you just don't even know. Um, but I did want to come and share that with you all. I'm so excited that I finally get to see what um, she's created here. So she has done a traveler's notebook um, with three inserts. I believe it's three inserts. And um, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to see what she's come up with. So um, real quickly before we get started, I did want to give you um, or let you know... Um, her credits for inspiration and um, they are Susie from Shabby Soul on Etsy make she makes such pretty beautiful beautiful um, journals and albums her and um, Angie's style are very very similar so um, her stuff is just absolutely gorgeous as well um, Chrissy at Chrissy Crosser Angie Bell at My Fairy Treasures Christy Nicolatis and T for Camilla, both on YouTube. So um, those are her credits for inspiration for this um, particular project here. Uh, she did use a ton of items from the shop, and I will point those out as we are going through. And of course, I'll make sure to list the links for all those items in the description box below in case you guys are interested in picking some of those items up for yourselves. Um, anyhow, I'm just gonna move this box over and we will start digging in. Let's see here. Oh, or maybe I'll just open it here. <laughs> so excited. I hope everybody's doing good. I know, like I said, I've been gone for a long time and I miss you guys so much. I have four journals that I'm working on right now, you guys. I'm so excited. I haven't had a whole lot of time to, um, to work on stuff, so... I've been doing it periodically here and there and of course you all know I can't just work on one project at a time so I've got four going at the same time. I'm going to move this over. <coughs> Excuse me. First off she's got some goodies. She sent along some um, cashew halves and pieces. <laughs> Thank you Angie. And then um, she's got some photos in here. Please show now. This is one of the little candy sacks from the shop. So here are her photos. And I'm going to go through these kind of quickly just because I don't want to... Um, I know that the journal is going to take... Or the traveler's notebook is going to take some time. So I already know that. So I'm just going to kind of flip through these real quickly so that you all can see them. And if you guys want to get a, you know, a better look, of course, you can always pause... Um, the video so you can get a better better look at them so there's her craft space you guys isn't that so pretty let me see if she's got anything on the back snow I was looking for details on the back for you hopefully that's coming into focus there's that one. Oh, this one is so super cute oh my gosh look at that little craft table with all her crocheted laces and all kinds of goodness on that corner wow how pretty 
These are two of the lace journals by um, Susie from Shabby Soul on Etsy. I don't know if those are coming through. I'm sorry, my lighting is bad right now. And I already know that this is going to probably be a two-part video. Um, she's got that old royal typewriter there. All her crochet doilies. <gasps> How fun. There's her little paper, um, paper trays. <clears throat> and this one says Scrabble letters are in a small glassing bag from a tattered dream on Etsy. How pretty. Oh, there they are right there. <laughs> oh gosh, so beautiful. Look at that. And I believe this is her newly decorated room. Um, she just redecorated it, so. She got a bunch of new um, pieces, storage pieces and stuff. So she was pretty excited about that. This one says, bottom right pocket is from Eyelet on a little girl's dress from the 1800s. Oh, that one right there. So that's a little wall hanging she's got that she created. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? And she's just got all kinds of little items just tucked in the pockets there. How pretty. <gasps> Angie, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how fun. Oh my goodness. How sweet is that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. So very pretty. I'm going to have to hire you to make me one of those. <laughs> oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh my gosh. This says, my baptismal dress and me wearing it in the small pewter frame setting under the dress with my late parents. Small pewter frame. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, before I show you, I'm trying to see. Oh, okay, that one right there. You can barely see her. But that was her baptismal gown. And in that little picture right there is her and her parents. And she's got that baptismal gown on. Oh, how sweet. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love that whole setup. It's just so pretty. <gasps> beautiful, Angie. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put these pictures aside, and now I'm going to, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how pretty. Oh gosh. So she did a hardcover for the, um, uh, with a traveler's notebook base. And then she's got the three inserts inside there. She signed it on the back, yes. Oh, the lighting in here is so bad tonight, I'm sorry guys. And there is all of that textured gorgeousness that Angie does. This um, traveler's notebook is titled Secret Wish. Our wish is that we can um, someday get together and go antiquing and have lunch and get crafty together in her craft room. 
Ah, oh, gosh, that would be fabulous. I would just absolutely love, love, love that, girl. You have no idea. How pretty. Okay, so this. All right, so it stays, it stays on. I've never had or created a traveler's notebook before, so I don't know. I've never seen one up close. Look at all of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am going to remove the inserts so that I can go through them. <clears throat> Excuse me, one by one. That way the bulkiness is not inhibiting me from showing you guys all of the gorgeous textures and um, beautiful things that she includes. So I'm going to do this. Is, I'm just going to move this off to the side. Oh my God, I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm sure you can imagine, um, and those of you who that have received gifts from Angie, oh my gosh, they are just incredible. And I get so stupid <laughs> when I get one of her gifts. I just, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm, I'm all excited and there's just so much going on. So please, please bear with me. Um, so here's her first insert. She used the Tim Holtz wallflower papers um, in this one here. So the papers are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty, you guys. So there's this tag here. It's got this beautiful little... Um, this is a, um, oh gosh, if you make jewelry, this is like for the bracelets to attach. If you got like a three band charm bracelet or something, that's what those are usually used for. It's a little clasp. And she's just got a dragonfly there. And then she stamped the tag. And she's just got it tied up with some sari silk and twine. She's got this really pretty trim here. It's probably from an old dress, I'm sure. She's just stitched it along the side. And then here she's got some more of that um, fabric from probably... Um, the old baptismal gowns. There's some more right there. One of the old rusty safety pins that I carry in the shop. These are so much fun. And then she's got this um, fabric pocket here that's just a little flip up. That beautiful music sheet paper that's dated 1921. And then this is a pocket with a large tag. Isn't that paper gorgeous? And she's just tied it up again with some more sari silk. There's one of the bulb pins from the shop. And then she's just stamped that little tag there. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I think this was a... Um, Susie idea. I've seen this on one of her um, journals that she had for sale on Etsy. She had a page where she did one of these little fabric pockets. So pretty. And then turning over, we've just got some really pretty lace up here. Real cute little flap there. And then here's one of the larger um, craft merchandise bags, the plain white craft merchandise bags that she's made a pocket out of. She did some really pretty layering there. You've got some fibers, a little paper flower. She's got the negative space from a butterfly punch, some cheesecloth back there, one of these Tim Holtz tickets. She did some stitching in the back. 
Oh, goodness. And then these are the um, ledger sheets from the shop. So this is some great additional journaling space in there if you can, um, for you can. Where did I learn English? <laughs> so that you can um, do some additional journaling. Uh, this is, There's plenty of room for journaling in here, you guys. Um, plenty of room for... Um, photos. So pretty. There's one of the merchandise tags from the store. And she just finished it off with some more of that trim and sewed a little butterfly on there. Oh, goodness. And then down here, she's just got this layered little, little lollipop flower that she's made. And some more fabrics down here, some fibers. She just topped it off with a little pearl. And there's some more crochet trim on the end there. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. Oh, she did a little bit of stamping. How pretty. Look at that little camera, old camera. <clears throat> Here's some tracing paper and she just stitched on some eyelet lace and some pom-pom trim there. Oh, she's got this glassing bag here. This, I, these are from the shop as well. And some of this tiny tassel trim. And I've got this that I need to list. I've, I've sent her some, but this is in ivory, and I don't have it listed yet, but I will get that listed hopefully really soon. And she's just topped it off with this really pretty little rosette here. Can you see the rose petals inside there? How beautiful is that? And that's just a little tuck. Let me get... Actually, I'll use one of the little notes she sent along. So you can tuck something right behind there. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. Then she's got some more crochet trim here on the end. Oh, here's one of the perpetual calendar cards from the store journal on the back of that. It just slips right inside that pocket there. Oh, there's the guest check. She made a little pocket out of the guest check here. Used another rusty safety pin on there. You are always kind. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angie. You are so sweet, girl. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. Love it, love it. Oh gosh. Then she's got a little library card with just some lace and another one of the um this is actually the catalog cards that I carry in the shop. And she just put a bulb pin with some lace on there. Am I even in frame? I'm so sorry guys. I'm probably not even not even looking. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. It's been so long since I've had anything to record and I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh my gosh. You guys see that? Isn't that so cute? I've seen several people do these little pockets out of these guest checks, and I can't remember. Someone said who made these the first time, and I can't remember who they were or who it was, but oh my gosh, talk about such a cute idea. I've done this with the little trifold time cards, but never thought to do that with the guest checks, and that's just super cute. 
And she's just got some washi tape back here. Little compass stamp up there. Some tracing paper. How beautiful. A little side pocket here with another little insert booklet. Some more ration stamps. Oh my God, yes. I love those, you guys. Those are so cool. Here's the bottom stub off of one of the gift checks there from the shop. I have to keep an eye on my time because my, I probably just let this run until it <laughs> cuts me off and then I'll just be mindful of where I left off because I'm not quite sure how much time I'm going to have. Memory. Oh, so cool. I love these little cards by Tim Holtz. See, so there's tons of additional journaling space added throughout so even though there's you know a lot of pages that are just pretty um there's plenty of writing space in here as well she's done it in such a way that it's just very well balanced oh, just beautiful angie so pretty girlfriend A little vellum piece a little envelope here so pretty oh gosh just got that little coffee stain there She's used some Edith Holden book pages there. And some of this keeping cloth with some bling. And then inside the pocket we have another tag covered in fabric. Oh, how pretty. She's just did tons of stitching. Here's another one of those bracelet links. What a neat embellishment. How fun. I never thought to use it like that. Another bulb pin. Wow. Mm. You're my friend. <laughs> oh, you are so sweet, girlfriend. I just love you to pieces. Love you to pieces. Love all our talks and chats. And oh, gosh, I just. I'm so grateful for you, girl. So, so grateful. Hmm. Oh, here's another pocket here with another journaling sheet. Here's another um, one of the ledgers, the green ledger sheets from the shop. Lots of um, shop items here, you guys. Tons of fun stuff. Look at that image. Those Edith Holden book pages are just gorgeous. I carry these in the shop as well. For those of you that don't want to cut into the full book, you can buy just a few pages for your projects at the shop. Here's one of the alterations tags. And she's got one of those metal rim tags from the shop that she's topped off with some rose petals and some crochet trim and fibers. Oh my goodness, girl. Everything is dressed up so beautifully. This old book page has still got, or music note, Paper still has all the writing on it. She's 
she's got that beautiful trim here for the page turn. <laughs> oh, look! Wish dust. Ah, someday, girl, I am going to be making my way out there and we are going to go do it up. <laughs> oh, how pretty. Look at that. She's got this old quilt. And some beautiful trim up here with some some of that leaf trim on top. She just used some um, strips from some German book pages that I sent along to her a while back. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, so I'm at 26 minutes and that's just the first insert. So I know that this is actually probably going to cut off soon. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just upload this um, video and then I will come back and do another insert because it's probably going to take me about the same amount of time to go through that. So hang tight. I will be back with insert number two. Okay, we'll be back in just a bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back in a little bit. Bye-bye.